Well guys, it has been a long, long time, but we are getting ready to start wrapping up the Del Sol. I went ahead and decided, you know, paint booth or no paint booth, we're just gonna get this car done. Probably clicked on this video because you wanna see the difference between base coat clear coat and single stage paint. Now, as you guys can see, we have an epic ricer fail behind me. The guy before me, I guess he thought it would be cool to make the underside of his hood look like a bumblebee. And as you guys can tell, it looks atrocious. So we basically just gave this a quick uh, scuff with a scotch pad. That's all you really have to do when you're quote unquote cutting in parts, which is what we're doing here. Um, just give it a quick scuff with a scotch pad, just enough to make the paint stick. You're good to go. And then we shall see single stage, Base coat, clear coat. We're going to see if there's actually a difference. If there's actually a difference in gloss and just how it looks. lot of questions luckily about marco hey how do you clean your spray gun well this is a product i must have in my arsenal this is the speed of coat spray gun aerosol paint remover guys for projects like this where you're switching in between materials this is a great product all you have to do is bust your gun down halfway don't even have to take it full way apart you're going to get your spray gun cleaner in half the time using this product what does this do incorporate speed in your project have it base coat clear coat versus single stage as you guys can see at least when it comes to the speed of coat black products the black base coat clear coat system and the jet black single stage system both look very alike i got some really up close footage you guys can see that there is honestly not really any gloss difference between the single stage and the base coat clear coat as a matter of fact i'm going to be honest with you Probably a little bit less orange peel with the single stage. Reason for that being is 
uh, single stage, every single coat of paint that you do flows out. I'm not gonna say that base coat doesn't flow out, but we're using fast reducer because of how cold it is outside. And that base coat doesn't really like to flow out as well and flatten out using fast reducer. So you're gonna have a micro orange peel like texture within your base coat that usually can get buried with enough clear coat. But uh, usually sometimes you get a little bit of shrink back and you pretty much always see it. Top of that with base coat, clear coat, you know, you're doing about five coats of paint. Every coat of paint you do, um, you're adding texture to the surface. So, you know, base coat, clear coat, single stage, they both have their drawbacks and they both have their benefits. Now, which one out of these two is going to be uh, less maintenance? Base coat, clear coat all day long. Single stage, if you were to do this one in the exterior of a car, you probably have to buff it about every two to three years because single stage, it gets a little bit chalky and a little bit hazy just because of the sun. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of UV additives in the single stage products. They are extremely durable, very, very durable, but it is still single stage. You are still going to have to buff it every couple of years. This base coat, clear coat, you know, you ceramic coat it, you wash it. You probably must never have to buff it. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be like, Marco, what do you think is the best paint for my project? I'm definitely going to say um, definitely black, whites, grays. Single stage is definitely going to be your number one shot. If it comes to anything else, metallics, colored, uh, reds, greens, blues, you're going to want to go base coat, clear coat. But anyways, that wraps up for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the comparison between the base coat, clear coat, and single stage. Hope this helps you out with your project. Like, subscribe, new videos every week.